Yo, what's good, YouTube? 2K23 is finally here, and y'all already know I gotta drop my build vid for y'all. And in my opinion, it's the best all-around point guard build. One of y'all commented on my video saying we need that two-way certified bucket getter on 23, and here it is, man. I'm about to show y'all how to make it. Of course, I made him a point guard. Left hand, I like my left hand players. And then I went 6'4 for the height, 185 for the weight, 7 foot for the wingspan, and slight for the body type. Hey, but peep the attributes. This build has no weaknesses. 79 layup, 80 driving dunk, 83 ball, 92 ball handle, 86 steal, and good physicals all around, man. Hey, but do not sleep on that 79 layup. I be making some crazy shit, bro. Not even gonna lie. If I can go back in time and remake this build, the only things that I would change is probably a higher pass accuracy or a higher driving layup. And that's what I'm doing right here for an example. I put my steel down so I can get a higher driving layup for some better animations. But that's totally up to you on how you want to make the build. It got a nice little badge count too. 15, 17, 23, and 16. I chose finishing moves and anchor breaking shots from my takeover, but here are all the ones that are available to you. And boom, that's how you make the build. It has a name Tempo Pushing Point, but it really plays like a two-way slash play. Like a De'Aaron Fox type build, D-Rose, Russell Westbrook, Ja Morant, that type of build. And it can shoot too. This build allows me to get pretty crafty at the rim. Like where was he going? Just look at these animations I'm getting. That lay was tough right there. And I use layup timing too. I'm so glad 2K got layups right this year. They're refreshing to be reliable now. Peep the jelly though. Ooh, that was clean. Hot steps are finally effective in this game, and man, it's a good year to be able to slash. And I can get contact done to slash take. This build is different. Bro right here is touching me for hella long. I already knew what I was going to do. And this build is hard to stay in front of, so once you get to the rim, it's a bucket down there every time. I'm going to be honest. I was struggling to shoot at first with this build, but now that I got most of my badges, I'm chilling. This clip was pretty nice. In and out, cross. Hot back sends me all the way to the paint. You already know what that is. Nah, but this clip was even better. Oh my goodness. Green. Bro was lost. Working out of the triple threat, and then I ran him right into the screen. Wide open. Green. As long as I can get myself wide open, I can knock it down. Had my defender running into the paint right there. Hey, peep this. My man on behind the back snatch. Hot back. Has spin, get off me, hot back, green. That was nice. <laughs> and since this build can drive so well, of course it demands attention from the health defenders, and that's easy dodge every time. Even though my pass sack is a little low, I can still get some pretty good bounce passes off. I swear, centers have a magnet to the paint, so I make sure I always play with shooters. Watch this clip right here. I got past my defender and look at everybody coming to help. This is the easiest pass of my life. All I gotta do is press a button. Remember what I said, big man always trying to help. Watch the big man right here. Jumping at me. Go get your man, bro. And man, I'm always looking for my shooters. Look how I closed off his defender. Man, I'm starting to fall in love with bounce passes now. They look so clean. And before I get out of here, I'm going to show you all the animations that I'm rocking with and the jump shot that I used since you made it all the way to the end of the video. And here's my jumper. Thank you so much for tuning in and let me know in the comments what you think about this build. Would you make it?